Your company is looking to increase its green initiative and reduce its carbon footprint, but how do you apply this to your transportation sector that is full of semi-trucks relying on diesel fuels traveling millions of miles every year? Stick around and find out. Hi there, I'm Josh, Sales Team Manager with Anderson Trucking Service. Let's discuss four of the many ways your carrier can be greener. Number one, reducing main engine idle. Now there's a few ways that carriers can do this. One of the few ways is adding auxiliary bunk heaters to sleeper berths. Uh, they can also do this by activating main engine idle shutdown timers. What this is, is it's a timer that uh, after a certain amount of time, the, uh, the engine will shut off automatically and it prevents excessive idling, which uh, prevents excessive fuel consumption. You can also add outside ambient temp sensors that will halt idling during non-extreme weather. The main reason for idling is uh, during extreme heat or extreme cold, the idling gives drivers AC and heat uh, to stay warm or cool. And uh, if it's a nice day out, mid 70s, high 60s, there's no reason to idle as the, uh, the temperature, the ambient temperature is a, a healthy one. Another way we can do this is adding auxiliary power units for cooling and inverting power. Number two, reduce fuel consumption with main engine programming changes. There's a couple ways we can do this. Reduction of overall truck speed uh, promotes use of cruise control, which will decrease fuel consumption. We can also promote engine time during coast applications and promote engine time in top gear, which will create less stress on the engine and lower fuel consumption. Number three, reduce drag and increasing fuel efficiency. This is for all the aerodynamics fans out there. Uh, one of the ways we can do this is low rolling resistance tires on tractors and trailers. We also have tire pressure management programs and synthetic grease in wheel ends. We also use alternative metals to reduce the weight in truck and trailer applications, for example, aluminum versus steel. Number four, integrating cleaner fuels and engine oils. Biodiesel blends are gonna be the front runner for this initiative. Synthetic oil blends are also going to be huge in this area as they are also a greener initiative as well. When it comes to being green, there's a lot of different ways carriers can take the initiative, and we've only covered a handful in this video today. If you'd like to learn more about how your transportation network can be a greener option for you, take a look at the article linked in the description below where we will cover smart waste certifications and multiple ways carriers can increase their green initiative. Thanks for taking the time to watch. We'll see you later.